what does the COVID crisis uh, give us as opportunities? I think there are three that we should really try to latch on. Economists tend to think that people are extremely responsive to, to incentives so that if there is too generous social program, they will stop working. Well, it turns out it's not just economists who think that, it's also individual in general. In this study, we asked half of the respondents, suppose there is a very generous Medicaid program with no work requirement, would that discourage beneficiary from finding work? And if they respond about themselves, they say, no, of course not. I will still continue to work. When they respond about others, they say, oh, yes, they will stop working. And in a system like that, of course, you don't want to have generous social protection because you don't want to be the one idiot who is still working when everybody is slacking off. But I think what we have learned uh, in the pandemic is that everybody might need help at a point or another. And I think this has made people much more receptive uh, to aid. And in particular, we've seen it in the US where the political acceptability of the Biden reform is much, much higher than what would have been possible before a crisis like COVID. From time to time, there are events that remind us that climate change exists, but then we forget them. But I think the COVID-19 crisis was really unique. For once, we saw that scientists had predicted that something like that could happen, and it happened. And usually we just don't believe, even though we trust scientists, we don't believe them when they predict uh, something which is very different from what we are expecting. And I think with the example of COVID-19 actually having happened, then the credibility will turn into something more concrete in terms of believing the message and believing the urgency. And we can seize that and act. It's not going to be possible to really work for climate change as one world, which is necessary, unless we demonstrate to the developing world that we really mean it and that rich countries will are to be trusted, both in terms of their emission commitment, also in terms of their financial commitment. We can demonstrate that the one world uh, motto is not just a motto, it is a thing, it is something we care about by uh, mounting a true worldwide vaccination campaign like we mean it. COVAX estimates that for, uh, they, they are only $19 billion uh, short to vaccinate 2 billion people by next year. This is nothing. This is like just a drop in the bucket compared to what we've spent on ourselves for COVID-19. So we have the opportunity to show and demonstrate that we care about the world, that these are not just world. Unfortunately, so far, we haven't really acted on that responsibility. You can stop giving excuses and do it and do it quickly avoiding massive human disaster, and also, I think, creating the goodwill that will be very much uh, uh, necessary in order to effectively fight climate change.